Hey guys, welcome back. So I am back with this video to talk about yet another product from a company that I really love called Pataka. I've done a few videos now on Pataka products and I love them not only for their build quality, but the ingenuity of the design of their products. So a few months ago, Pataka had an event where they announced their Pita Flow ecosystem. And essentially what that is, is a series of products that all kind of work together to not only enhance your productivity, but they basically just kind of make the products that you use on an everyday basis more useful. And in particular, they sent me one of their new AirTag holders to check out, which was called the Pita Tool. And what the Pita Tool was, was not only a really cool AirTag holder that just was very stylish and very well made, but it also included some little tools such as a Phillips head screwdriver and Allen key that you could attach to your bag and so you'd have a functional yet stylish AirTag holder. Well, for this video today, they've sent me another one of their amazing AirTag holders and this is something that could really come in a pinch if you get into an emergency situation and you need a quick charge. What is it? Let's take a look. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we talk about all things tech, particularly those smaller tech items to help you increase your productivity, streamline your workflow, and make your life easier. So like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're not familiar with Pataka, I would definitely recommend checking them out, especially if you have an iPhone as they make some amazing products, not only iPhone related products, but watch bands, charging accessories, like I said, the AirTag holders, you name it. They're very cool in that they use a carbon fiber pattern on almost all of their products. In fact, I'm eager to check out the iPhone 14 Pro cases that they just released. And like I said at the beginning of the video, they have their PETA tag collection, which according to the website is a series of EDC essentials integrated with the AirTag case with distinctive materials and trend-setting innovative designs. The small and exquisite gears can easily be taken with you for travel while adding a touch of style to your everyday life. So I know that's a mouthful, but essentially what they're doing is they're not just getting into the AirTag market, but they're coming out with products that are making your AirTags useful in some way. And for this particular video, Pataka was nice enough to send me their newest AirTag accessory, which is Pita Tag for cable. I'm excited to get this particular product because even though they talked about it at the event, it actually didn't get released until the end of August. So it's just coming out to consumers now. I'm one of the first people to get my hands on it, so I'm excited to do this video. And instead of me trying to explain what it is, let's just do a quick unboxing and I can show it to you and then we'll see what it does in action. All right, so we are gonna do our quick unboxing here for our PETA tag from Bataka. And uh, not really sure what happened to this box in transit, but hopefully whatever is inside is okay. I like the fact that Pataka actually puts their logo on the box as opposed to some other companies where you're just kind of left guessing as to what's actually inside the box. So let's take a look at what is inside. And there we go. And luckily no damage to the box. So you can see right here we have our Pataka PETA tag for cable. Got a little description on the back. You can see the world's first AirTag case with a charging cable. A two-in-one air tag case with a charging cable for emergency use. Okay, nice black box from Pataka. Okay, inside we've got just a little, as per Pataka's normal packaging, we've got this sort of, um, it's like a kind of a tissue paper thing, just tells you the world's first air tag case with a charging cable, magnetic MFI certified cable, perfect combo of leather and aramid fiber and unique lanyard design. Set that aside, and there is the tag right there. Take it out. We've got the Pataga logo on it. You can definitely feel that this is leather. Love the carbon fiber, or as they say, the aramid fiber. So this is basically just sort of a, a, a vessel for putting the cable inside. This is going to be the thing that hangs outside. But I like this because it completely covers the air tag, whereas the PETA tool, you can actually see uh, the outside of the air tag. So this is just kind of a different look. Set that aside. What else we have inside the box? Basically it's just this cable which is as you can see one side it's lightning, the other side is USB-C and they both have magnets so they come together like that 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put my air tag inside of the case and it gives you specific instructions, it's really easy. Actually, I didn't realize this at first, but the logo actually serves a purpose. It helps you to pull the backing off and there's a little sticker inside. I don't know if you can see what that says, but basically they're saying if you are having trouble taking your air tag in and out of the case, you can put this on the magnetic side of the air tag and I guess it makes it easier. It's like a little sticker. I'm gonna to try to do it without the sticker at first just to see how it works. So I have now got my air tag inside and um, I see what they're saying about being kind of hard to take out. I don't really, it's very snug inside there. I don't see, you can't even really push on the back because it's not flexible at all. So I think the only way to get this out of there is I'm gonna to have to use some kind of tool which may scratch up the air tag. So I guess I can see why you'd wanna put this on the back. Um, so I'll, <laughs> I'll try that a little bit later, but basically we just seal that up in there. That's a little magnetic clasp. And then we take our cable, make sure it goes together with the magnets, which is really cool. So it's, it almost looks like basically it's like one unit and you screw that in there. And now we have our air tag. So basically this, this now serves two purposes. We've got the air tag in here. So you don't have to worry about your bag or whatever you put this on going missing. And we've got this cable here that you can easily unscrew and then demagnetize the two ends. And now you've got a short charging cable. So as long as you have some kind of a power source, I have to say, I really like the design of this. The leather feels high quality at the signature Pataka carbon fiber. And I like the accent of the red around it kind of makes it a little bit more distinctive. Um, I like the magnetic clasp in the back because when the, when the air tag is in there, unless you're looking extremely close at it, you really wouldn't know. You, you would just think, oh, this is some kind of a luggage tag or something. I wouldn't automatically assume that there was an air tag in there. So it's kind of nice because you sort of have that, it's sort of like a hidden layer of, you know, security, I guess you could say. And then the cable itself is very nice. It's, it's braided, seems like it's high quality. I like the fact that, you know, it's magnetic. So it easily, you don't even have to really think about, you know, putting it inside here. So definitely if you're someone who is traveling a lot or even just kind of carrying your bag around with you a lot on a daily basis and you're afraid about like leaving it somewhere, this is really, you know, it's, it's a really useful tool. And unlike the PETA tool where you could not bring this, you know, through the TSA checkpoint in the airport, you can easily bring this in and no one's gonna have a second look at it. So what we've got here, as you can see from the unboxing, is a really cool product that is constructed from 600D aramid fiber, as well as vegan leather. Unlike the multi-tool where you can kind of see part of the AirTag exposed, this one completely encloses your AirTag, which I kind of like because it prevents your AirTag from getting scratched up from everyday use. So if you're one of those people like me who is really OCD about keeping scratches off your items, this thing is for you. Also, another thing that's cool about that is you're not really advertising that you've got an AirTag on your bag or your backpack. So it makes it kind of a sort of a stealth device in a way. So when you open up the AirTag holder, what you get is a 190 millimeter braided nylon cable, which is actually so strong that it doubles as a lanyard holder for attaching to your devices. And it's also MFI certified, so it works with your Apple devices, such as your iPhones, anything that still takes a lightning connection. And it is also magnetic, so basically once you decide to put it back in the case, it just snaps together very easily so it can fit inside the holder. I can tell you from first looking at it, the braided nylon cable is extremely heavy duty. I think you'd have a really hard time destroying it or damaging it, uh, unlike some of the other cables from Apple or some other companies. And what you've got is a lightning connector on one end, USB-C on the other end. So you could essentially hook this up to your iPhone on one end and then a USB-C power brick or battery pack on the other end, you'd have instant charging on the go. Now, this is not a very long cable. Like I said, it's 190 millimeters or 7.4 inches for you non-metric people like me. So you're gonna wanna use this probably with a battery pack. I mean, you could hook it up to a wall charger, but then you're just gonna have to like leave your phone connected to the wall, which isn't very useful. So battery pack comes in clutch in this situation. And essentially what you could do is put this on your bag and anytime you're out and about, you're gonna have an instant charging solution when you're running out of juice and you need to top up your phone really quickly. 
So this is a perfect device for anyone who has an EDC bag like I do. I am definitely going to use this in tandem with my Air Day Sling. It's a perfect accessory for that, especially since you're gonna be using it with something like the Zero Magvolt battery, which you can see my review by clicking up there. It's a very simple yet functional design. So you could even attach it to your keychain and you'd have an instant charging cable. I know my wife is often out and about and she sometimes has a battery pack, but it's maybe not mag safe and she needs something to connect it to really quickly, this would come in clutch in those situations. As with all Pataka products, this is extremely well made, very stylish. I know some people don't like the carbon fiber aesthetic. I really like it, especially with the little red accent ring around it. Love the fact that it is hidden inside there. And it's very easy to take the AirTag out. I know in the unboxing, I said I wasn't going to attach a sticker. I did attach it later on because I found that while you can get the AirTag out with like a butter or something, it is pretty tightly in there. So on the one hand, it's not gonna come out very easily, but on the other hand, if you do wanna get it out of there, I would suggest putting that magnetic tag on the back. Now, this does come in at $59, so it is not cheap, but I feel like if you're someone that is gonna be out and about every day on the go and you are looking for a quick and easy kind of set it and forget it charging system, this is an ideal thing to put on your EDC bag or your backpack or whatever you happen to bring with you on a daily basis. This could also be a great gift idea for someone. Maybe you have a tech enthusiast like me in your life and this is something that you could purchase very easily from Pataka, have a great gift for birthday or Christmas. I am gonna leave my affiliate link below if you would like to purchase this from Pataka. And I believe they're running some deals right now where if it's your first purchase, you can get a free USB-C to USB-C cable. So that's a good deal. Curious to hear if you guys are planning on purchasing maybe this one or the PETA tool or something else from Pataka, or if this is maybe something you just don't think you would use. As always, really appreciate everybody who took the time to watch this video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please take a moment and subscribe, like this video as it helps me to grow the content. I will be back very shortly with some more videos, hopefully some more Pataka content, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.